Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about the timeline feature in the H5P plugin. We will discover how this feature can help you to create engaging and interactive learning experiences for your students. So the timeline feature in H5P is not limited to showcasing historical events and biographies. In fact, there are alternative ways to use it that go beyond traditional time-based presentations. In this video, uh, we will explore two examples, content creation and sequencing of the steps. With timeline feature, you can organize the course content very effectively in the sense that uh, it, it will serve as a visual roadmap for your students to navigate through different modules, topics, and uh, chapters. Let's go and check it out how we can use timeline for content organization. Okay, so right now we are on my workroom. The first thing uh, you have to make sure that your edit mode is on. And now we have um, the possibility to add an activity or resource. I want the course over overview to be in this position. So I first click here on adding on activity and resources. I choose interactive content. Um, and from here, I choose timeline. You can simply type. And then I expand the page. So I already prepared my course overview in a separate document. And then right now I'll be just copying and pasting. Let's start filling the content. So first I'll name it as course overview. So as a headline, I'll just type, hey there, and I'll type my text here. Adding the default zoom level, I'll show this later on, so you will have an idea why do you need that. Then I have already my background image ready. It's over already there. So now it's time to add your uh, course topics. So first I'll start adding an item. It will be in this date part. And instead of adding actually a year, month and day, I'll just put number one. And then in the headline, I'll copy paste my first topic. Just delete this part. And then in the body, what you would like to see in the body part. In the next, I'm adding another item. I just put number two. And that's going to be descriptive statistics. I'll add another element. You'll just keep going adding your information. So I'm done entering all pieces of my information. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, proceed to save. We'll scroll down and I save and display. So here we go. We have our course overview as you can see on the screen. You can see what is the next topic and the short description about it. So here you see that the information stack onto each other. And if you feel like expanding it a little bit, go to settings, open this and this we change default zoom level from zero. For example, we can try changing to one. We proceed with this and save and display. And now you can see that it's distributed on the same level. This is an example how you can arrange your course overview in an engaging way. So this is one alternative way of uh, using timeline. And the second alternative is to use as a sequence of steps, which means that you can use timeline to explain various processes or procedures to your students. For example, it can be a scientific experiment or outlining research methodology. So basically, with timeline, um, students can be guided through each step of a particular procedure. So let me show the example on the basis of uh, how to make hypothesis testing. For the next example, we are going to the tab of inferential statistics and again the same action at an activity or resource, interactive content and choose timeline. It's better when your whole content design is ready. 
so it will be easier for you to copy and paste the information and uh, this part will be done relatively fast for example i already prepared here that my headline is going to be hypothesis testing each steps action and example that i'm going to use now i put my headline here i put my body text so because i want everything to be in one line i'll put default zoom level at one now i add my background image i put it from here and then i just keep uh, going with copying and pasting texts in the body text i'll talk about action and there will be the part for the action from the example you can also add media for example if you would like to add a link uh, for a video about how to make hypothesis testing from youtube or any other resources you can add the media here and it will look like as following for example i want to take this video i just share the copy the link i go here so we put the youtube video link over here so we see that the author is the organic chemistry tutor and here I can write as a YouTube channel, the organic chemistry tutor. I add the next item. The second step is going to be setting the significance level. I copy and paste it here. I put the body text as it was before, like action. And action involves these steps we keep going as we did with the previous example uh, adding the next steps so i added the last step i mentioned everything here and now i'm going to proceed to save scrolling down saving and displaying voila we see our picture and so with the video you can see that it looks like this so this is how you can arrange sequences of steps in an engaging manner for your students. Besides content organization and sequence of steps, you can also use timeline for project management, uh, progress tracking, geographical exploration. Basically, there are a lot of alternatives to use. The timeline feature is a very flexible tool that may help you to unleash your creativity and uh, tailor it to your specific needs. Hope this video was useful for you and see you next time.